In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Challenges test our resolve and push us to innovate. It's during our toughest moments that we discover our greatest strengths. Embrace the difficulties, for they are the stepping stones to growth and progress. Seek out the opportunities hidden within adversity, for your breakthrough may be just around the corner. Remember, every setback is a chance to rise stronger than before. So, face your challenges head on, knowing that within them lies the potential for transformation and success. In your journey, you have to know that you will possibly piss somebody off. Now, if everybody was doing their thing and if everybody was living up to standard, living up to the righteous standard or a decent standard, if everybody was living decently and everybody was holding themselves to their highest potential, we wouldn't have no reason to worry about each other or hate on each other, right? The fact that we live in a, uh, uh, let me see how to say this, because I have to be very respectful, because I don't want to disrespect anybody. I want to teach a lesson. Um, I never get online to hear myself talk. I never get online just to talk. I never get online to waste nobody's time. I come on this YouTube. I come on the internet with a purpose. I come on the internet with a message. And I'm standing on my message. Be a better version of yourself. Be righteous. Be decent. Right? And with me coming like that, I chose my side. Right? I publicly, in real life, chose my side. I stand on the side that I've chosen, and I'm standing on it. Right? But when with me standing on it, with me standing on the per on my purpose, with me standing on my square for all you masons, from with me uh, standing on my principles and being a man of principle. If you if you are a man of your principle and living in your principle, and you're around people who are not living on their purpose and their principle, you will piss them off just by being yourself. It's too many people who like to see. Well, let me explain something to you. First off, misery loves company. When somebody, because I'm not here to demonize or downplay anybody, because this is what niggas do, you know. Um, misery loves company. Uh, if somebody's a bully, they want to hang around other bullies. anybody like-minded hanging alike you will it's rare that you'll see a big fat sloppy woman hanging out with a pretty prissy 
beautiful woman because opposites usually don't attract. I'm really jumping just like a fish fry. Face my sister every day. Not a day go by. See the hate around the corner. Looking at my left eye. Start over from scratch. This might be the best time. Bring that one back from the top. Usually in the group, if you see one beautiful woman, you're going to see other beautiful women because I'm getting jumping just like a fish fry. Miss my sister every day. Not a day go by. See the hate around the corner looking at my left eye. Start over from scratch. This might be the best time. Do it just to get by. Ty Lil Kali. Everybody know me. I don't need no ID. The way I stretch the flow, they might think I'm KD. Find a rapper hot as me. Oh no, that can't be. I switched up my style. That was so controversial. It's like just like a movie, but it's set with no rehearsal. Every time they spit a flow, they start talking in circles. Snow up without a clue. They can say the game is over. I'll Let's go. The game by a storm, highway robbery. You can look up and down and find the rapper hot as me. It was time for a change. You can see it obviously. Hot up in the light. We forget the artistry. You can game by a storm, highway robbery. They usually stick together, pretty women stick together. If you see some thugs, you're gonna see some other thugs because people stick together, like-minded people stick together. Do you feel what I'm saying? Let me go to this because I have to. What people been doing and trying to do to me, because I'm gonna explain something to y'all. I'm damn near to the point where I'm bulletproof. And I'm not saying impervious to loss. I'm not saying I can't take a loss. I'm not saying I can't be wrong because I can and, some, and I am wrong sometimes, right? But I'm getting to the point in my life where I ain't taking no losses. I'm not. I'm getting to that point in my life where I only make wise decisions. So, my circle's real tight. I don't hang around a lot of people. I don't hang around a lot of dudes. I don't hang around, I don't have a bunch of females in my life juggling a bunch of women. I don't do a lot of that. My circle's very tight. And the reason I keep my circle tight is because you never know when Judas is coming to infiltrate. When you're doing what I do, um, bringing awareness to the to the evils of life, bringing awareness to the flaws and the wrongs of earth. When you're doing what I do, you have to be aware that Judas is around the corner at all times. When you're doing what I do, you have to know Judas will come to strike. And Judas, if he can't get you, he'll send somebody else. If Satan can't get you, he'll send somebody else. He'll send a Judas. You know, a lot of times people, a lot of times, People don't realize their the power of their reputation and the power how many of y'all on here have read the 48 laws of power hit a one in the comment if you've ever read any of the excerpts from the laws of power or read the book If you don't want me to comment, if you're scared to comment, then let me know you're in here. That's fine too. There's no I in team, but it isn't ignorant. My verse is so fresh, just like a peppermint. When I walk in the room, I address the elephant. Drop me off on to look me like the president. This is so opera show, many young and the rest. No invite to the party, guess I didn't make the guess. Don't sell like Drake, but I'm still a fresh prince. Don't sell out arenas, I'm as real as a kid. All I give but arenas when he played for the wizard. Grab a scarf and a hat, it get colored in a blizzard. I don't know which way to go, feel like Malcolm in the middle. And I mean what I say, you can tell by my demeanor. Let's go. Shame in my game, man, my flow so off the chain. You can't stand next to me, me and you, we not the same. Yeah, 
he keep up with the trends, but I'm in another lane. To see the bigger picture, gotta take it out the frame. That's my thing, that's my thing, that's my thing, that's my thing. being here i appreciate everybody for being here all right law number five of the 48 laws of power somebody in here who, who understands what I'm about to uh, show y'all. And I'm not reading the book. I'm just going to show you this one law. Law number five from the 48 Laws of Power. So much depends on reputation. According to Instared, fifth law, so much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. You can intimidate people and win at life through your reputation alone. But if you lose your reputation, you will be vulnerable to attack from all sides. If you want to destroy enemies, besmirch their reputation. Did you hear that? Let me say that. Let me read. Let me do that again. Law number five from the 48 Laws of Power. So much depends on reputation. According to Instared, fifth law, so much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. You can intimidate people and win at life through your reputation alone. But if you lose your reputation, you will be vulnerable to attack from all sides. If you want to destroy enemies, besmirch their reputation. If you want to destroy enemies, besmirch their reputation. So, right now in my life, like I said, I don't want nothing that the devil has. I don't envy nobody. I don't look up to people other than God and righteous men and righteous women. 